Will Shigaraki get a regeneration quirk? So I forgot to record an intro. Um, so here I am. This is I've already finished the video. I'm just gonna be saying my intro right now. So first of all, I'm the one Straha. If you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Other than that, let's get right into this video. Play the intro. <laughs> That's what we're here to discuss. Now we know that Shigaraki is missing a couple of his fingers and we know to use DK he needs to make contact with an object with all five fingers. Now while we do know that his DK has obviously upgraded, now he doesn't really necessarily need to make contact, he still kind of does. He has to make contact with something that you come in contact with. So now I was doing some research and I stumbled upon a video by a My Hero YouTuber known as Truth Hero. Now most of you have probably heard of him, he's a lot bigger than I am and his videos are actually really entertaining to watch. So the video I was watching is some, something along the lines of Shigaraki and dead quirks where he can use the quirk of dead people. Now I really do like the theory but one thing that very that stood out to me a lot was that Shigaraki might actually get Chisaki's quirk overhaul. And I think this is very interesting because if he does then he wouldn't really necessarily need a regeneration quirk because that quirk basically is a regeneration quirk in of itself. He could basically just disassemble his hand and then reassemble it and have his fingers back. Now in Truth Hero's video, he goes in and talks about how Shigaraki could get the quirk and the way he says it is that maybe because you know, we know Mr. Compress has a bit of his forearm that giving it to Dr. Ujiko, he could actually he could actually give the quirk to Shigaraki. We've seen him do it with Nomu so this is a possibility and I obviously think Shigaraki is going to get more quirks not only just overhaul's quirk but he's probably going to get a couple other quirks and Truth Hero does go on and talk about that. Honestly, Shigaraki is going to be hella OP, okay? Imagine the ultimate touch. This guy's going to be finessing people with that touch. You know, he, all he has to do is literally come in contact with you. And that's it. I don't know what he could choose to decay you. He could choose to disassemble you. Now he could revive and regenerate people. Not necessarily revive, I just mean regenerate. He can't bring you back from the dead or anything. He's not God, but he's very close. Oh, there's another thing that Truth Hero mentioned. And I think this is really interesting. So Truth Hero mentions that, oh... He's going to be able to use the dead quirks of his family because they kept the body parts of his family, right? The hands on Shigaraki's face, those are all his old previous deceased family members' hands. So how Deku is going to be using the vestiges, he's going to be using his family. But I thought of this really cool thing. So he also mentions that All For One says that Shigaraki needs powerful quirks that don't take time to train with. While it's pretty cool if you take a look at Deku's quirks, he has Black Whip, which Black Whip is a quirk that you actually do need to train with. It's not a very simple quirk and it's overpowered with one for all so it's given that boost i think it's a really cool parallel between the two characters and it's always been a parallel between shigaraki and deku that's always been something constant and i've always really liked that about horikoshi's writing he does a lot of parallels in his story it's a lot similar to one piece one piece has a lot of parallels as well and i know horikoshi was obviously inspired by oda but i want to know what you guys think what type of quirks do you guys think shigaraki will get let me know down below but other than that if you guys enjoyed the content please leave a like comment subscribe to the channel if you're new as i said in the beginning and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.